Okay, this is uh, kind of crazy. It's not very pretty yet, but this is kind of a proof of concept. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create a, on the same level, um, a sump of sorts for my pico. The problem with the, the pico I'm having is that when I get close uh, to uh, water change time, what happens is uh, as I drain the tank, the corals get exposed to air and they really don't like it at all. They, they sometimes don't recover for a couple of days. So I'm trying to create a system whereby I can add water without actually affecting the tank. And so this is what I'm doing. So let me kind of walk you through what I'm doing here. <clears throat> okay, first we're going to Let's take this lamp off. Uh, I'm leaving my HOB on here right now as I'm as I'm playing with this, and I'm. But eventually, I'll take the uh, the filter as well as and the and the uh, all the uh, uh, heater elements and everything out. So, right there, you can see this is extremely quiet. You can you, the only thing you can hear is actually the loudest thing is a little timer on the floor. Um, uh, there's the actual uh, intake for the overflow, uh, and uh, uh, what I've got there is I've got a siphon overflow. And you see there's a little one-way valve and it's being it's being driven by this little aqua lifter right here so that sucks all the air out of that siphon to make sure that it works uh, then I'm used a uh, uh, the siphon if you can see goes down goes down all the way down into a U and then comes up and that's kind of a typical siphon this this little hole right here is for priming the siphon at the very first time uh, so what the siphon does is then it, it'll come out, it comes out down here, comes over here, and drops it right into the, into the, uh, kind of a, it's a, it's like a, a container, like a Tupperware container where I put the Cheeto, and uh, it just dumps all the water in there. Uh, all, all the water from the aquarium goes right directly into there. So, um, uh, uh, then we've got, over here, we've got a little tiny pump. Uh, there's a, there's a, a heater. I'll, put, I'll eventually, like I say, put the heater in. I'll put the actual overflow or the HLB um, filter on, on here. But there's the uh, the pump. The pump comes out, uh, comes out. The water comes out of the pump, goes down into this area, and then it comes down here. And what it does is it comes over into this junction right here, right by the magnet. And it's got, as you can see, it's a little T that comes back. And that 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 thing that comes back, actually, it comes back into this little uh, return right here. And that little return is neck down. The reason why it's neck down is so that I can restrict the flow uh, significantly. Uh, so it's neck down and the water goes back again into our little into our little Cheeto container. So um, now uh, so what I've got now is the pump pumps way too much water for uh, the overflow. So this little, this is a little ball valve I use to adjust I can adjust the overflow, and so because I don't, the reason why I don't just adjust it and uh, uh, not have this return is because I want to try and lengthen the life of my pump. I'm hoping that that's what that will do. Is, is when I when I adjust it, the, all the the pressure instead of being backed up into the pump and and stressing the pump, it'll actually run over to this little overflow, uh, a little overflow area. So then it comes up here, and then of course it goes over, and now it's being dumped out into the into the tank, so uh, and it's been running for a few uh, a few hours actually, not even a few days. But uh, as you can see, it's a uh, uh, kind of an interesting <laughs> an interesting setup. I want to see how it works for a while, and then once I get it figured out, I'll probably try and work out something that looks a little a lot better than it looks right now. But this is uh, done fairly inexpensively for uh, the uh, just uh, some PVC and a couple little pumps. Uh, one of them I had laying around, so it wasn't a big deal. So, hope you like this, uh, and uh, if you have any questions, see me on nanoreef.com. Bye.